Hello, everyone. I just want to wish you a good day, good morning, or even a good evening to wherever it is that you're plugging into. And thank you for joining us with Amtrak Vacations as we have a lot of great information we're going to share with you today. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know that feel free to download our free handout here on the side. It just shows a lot of our recent promotions, and it's always something to have hands on so you uh, can have that pretty much in your own hands right now. Now that will only be available while we are live. And if you have any questions during any part of this presentation, please put them in the question box and I'll be more than happy to provide an answer towards the end of the session. Now this presentation may be more or less 25 to 35 minutes long, just depending on the amount of questions that we receive. Now I see that many, many travelers are joining us here uh, today. We actually had over a thousand join us just on the first session and we had a few hundred join us on the second session this third session we're also expecting a few hundred as well so i want to welcome everyone who's plugging in and we'll be talking a lot about the best kept secrets when it comes to rail travel uh, really what to expect what we probably didn't know was right in our backyards and things that maybe uh, you never thought of about taking on your next vacation now my name is baltazar lopez and i'll be your host for today and we're going to cover yes of course different things to know about train travel but also popular destinations that you can actually take this year in 2021, as well as plan for 2022. Uh, we will talk about how to route your rail vacation to your hometown where you don't need to go to any major city, as well as what Amtrak is doing to provide a safe environment for your next vacation, especially during the unique time that we're all in. Now, what I wanna make sure we're on the same page with, because again, many travelers on this call, I wanna welcome you if you just plugged in with us, but uh, who are we as a company? Now, Yankee Holidays, that was actually our first brand, and that was established about 49 years ago in 1972. Now, in 2007, Yankee Leisure Group was created as we began managing multiple brands. So today, we now have three distinct brands. Amtrak, uh, Yankee Holidays for all of your city and national park getaways. Amtrak Vacations for all of your US rail vacations and Canadian rail vacations. And then our Rail Bookers brand, which is all of your worldwide independent rail vacations, as well as luxury train travel. So all of these are, in a sense, one company, but different brands representing different territories. And we'll be focusing more on Amtrak vacations today. Now, just so I can make sure everyone's used to the question box and, you know, we can all access it. How about everyone put in the question box right now what hometown you are plugging in from? Uh, where is it that you're representing? Uh, feel free to put that into the question box. I'm actually uh, plugging in from Laguna Niguel, California, over here on the West Coast. And it looks like we have Boston in the house. We have Tracy, California. We have Philadelphia, San Diego, um, Illinois, Indiana, New York, Michigan, uh, Salt Lake City, Florida, Minnesota. We have Canada, uh, Northern Canada, and, uh, and Northern California as well. Sacramento, Pennsylvania. Awesome. We even have... a. Uh, uh, Digna from uh, Puerto Rico. So we have a stacked house today. I want to welcome everyone. Uh, maybe you're, maybe uh, these are your hometowns and also maybe some of you are traveling at the moment, but thank you again for plugging in with us. Uh, we have much more uh, notice, but uh, now everyone knows how to use the question box. So with all those different locations, just take a look at this map. Those lines represent all the rail systems operating, operating throughout the US, as well as in Canada, if you're looking at the that little line at the top. Now, with all of these different lines, that's the rail systems. We have vacation packages across every single one of them. And for example, I'm taking a look here and uh, looking at, um, uh, Cheryl, I see you, you're coming in from Hampton, Virginia. Well, that's not a problem. We'll route you to the nearest Amtrak station and we can actually begin and end at that station to go on any one of these vacation packages across the US and Canada. And it's that simple to us. For you, you don't have to worry about putting that together. Just give us a call and we can route it for you. Now, the next thing I wanna mention is pick your perks. This is something completely new and you're one of the few travelers who first to hear about this. But we wanna help you make your vacation much more exciting where I understand that many of us wanna take fantastic trips and that's usually how it starts out. But then when we start looking at the quotes and we start getting the prices and we're ready to go, we start cutting some things off. I know my wife and I did this recently. We were going to San Francisco and going over to uh, Yosemite National Park. 
and we planned a trip. But then when we got our total price, we kind of changed our four star to a three star hotel property. Again, not a bad thing. We still had a great trip, but I'm sure it would have been much more memorable if we just paid that little extra to be able to have that uh, somewhat of a luxury experience in on that trip. So our pick your perks is something that we want to offer to all of our travelers. So if you have a three to six night reservation with us, we want to throw in $300 to help you upgrade your trip, whether it be upgrading in a hotel class, maybe a, a transportation or whatever that may look like. Um, if it's seven to nine nights you're having with us, we want to upgrade you up to $400 as well as 10 nights or more. We want to give you a perk of $500 to upgrade um, so we can make that much more of a memorable experience. Think about the train ticket, maybe going to a roommate or a bedroom, uh, your hotel being upgraded, the room. So instead of it being a, just a hotel room, you could have a suite or a view room. Um, you can extend your stay or even add on activities. Again, it's, it's the fact that it's something that we want to add more flair into the reservation that you're already planning. Now, I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions of what is Amtrak actually doing to make it a safe environment for your next vacation? And I understand that a, a lot of things about social distancing, how can you social distance on a train? Well, I'm excited to share with you that first off, they've enhanced the cleaning protocols. So on an hourly basis, they wipe down the train station, the seats inside the train and everything along the lines to make sure everything's sanitary on an hourly basis. Now there are face coverings required. I think we've all already experienced that if you go to your local grocery market where you just wear a mask when you're at the station and on board the train. And if you're in your own private room, you could remove it. Or if you're enjoying a meal, you can remove it at that time as well. Uh, limited bookings. So safe distancing is practice on board the train because we're only selling 50% of the capacity of the train. So the other 50% is available to whatever it is, that, uh, to the gaps, that's how you can actually have those six feet across from other passengers. Now, a question that we started receiving quite a bit that I was actually recently aware of is, is there fresh air on board the train? And I, you know, I can understand why that question is even a question because I understand that when it comes to flights, you know, it's pressurized air, much different. So on the Amtrak train, there's new air that's filtered on board every four to five minutes throughout the entire duration of your trip. Uh, we're switching to contact-free travel. So everything is e-vouchers and e-tickets to minimize the hand-to-hand -hand contact. And we also offer private rooms. So you don't need to worry about needing to pass by other passengers. You could have your own private space on your vacation. Now, packing is extremely generous. Per person, you can carry two free carry-ons and you can check two bags and at no cost at all. And if you do check bags, I recommend at least arriving 45 minutes prior to departure. All of our rail vacations are fully customizable where we can make it a round trip journey. We can add on more nights, take off nights if you like. We can upgrade you to private sleeping accommodations. And I like the fact that we can change three, four, five-star properties. We could even add sightseeing and tours and full day excursions. So there's a lot we can do. So everything I'm gonna go over today uh, with our different packages we offer, just know we can adjust it if need be. So before we go into those packages, I want to uh, make sure you know the classes on board the Amtrak. And this is across all the different routes of Amtrak, where there's a coach class, which we typically include in all of our rail packages. A uh, coach class is very comfortable. Two seats on the left, two seats on the right. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any middle seat. They're very large and not only that, but they have their own outlets. So you, you don't have to go in a specific section to charge any of your electronics. You can actually do it at your seat. There is Wi-Fi on board the train throughout all classes and the seats recline back 45 degrees. So you could actually sleep in the coach class if you would like. And uh, it does recline back 45 degrees. So you have a lot of space to be able to extend your legs. A colleague of mine is six foot six and he could extend his legs quite comfortably. Now, the one thing that in coach class, it's great, but you wouldn't have access to a shower and you would not have access to a um, dining car. You would only have access to snack cars. So things that you can order like cold sandwiches and, and drinks, non-alcoholic non and alcoholic drinks you have access to. But there's a lot of perks in actually upgrading to private sleeping accommodations especially if you're sleeping on board the train. So first off, you'll be able to be priority seating boarding. 
so you can actually have a different section of the train available for yourself to be able to board onto. Uh, you'll have your own privacy door in those rooms where they lock from the inside and they have curtains that actually cover the windows. And one, uh, one little secret that many travelers are unaware about is that you have a dedicated car attendant. So they're the ones who would take care of any toiletries you may require, bottled water, coffee. They're the ones who actually get your meals ordered for you and they deliver it directly to your private sleeper. Anything you need, they're there to assist. And they're also the ones who would turn, tame, change your room from a day use to an evening use. So first off, a roomette. So a roomette is a basically a room that has two chairs that face each other, a pull down table in between, and a large picture window so you can see all the passing scenery. It's really great for any traveler, a single traveler or two travelers in itself. And then during the evening, the attendant will turn it into a bunk bed style for two. Now the shower and restrooms will be just on the hall and all of your meals are included with any sleeping class we offer, roomette or bedroom. Your meals are included on the trip for the duration of your travel. Now, maybe you're like myself, where I would much like a little bit bigger space. So then I would recommend the bedroom accommodation. The bedroom, much larger room. It has a, a love seat by day by an, with an additional chair, a pull down table in between. You still have your own private window with curtains and extra space for luggage overhead. But a lot of our travelers like to upgrade a bedroom, not only for the space, but also because your shower and restroom will be in the room with you. So you don't have to go down the hall, you can stay in your room and all of your meals are still included with this class. Now I have had questions about travelers who wanna go with four adults or maybe three adults and a child. Well, we also offer bedroom suites. It's basically a two bedroom side by side. So it's this bedroom, but we just remove the middle wall and then it just ends up being two bedrooms um, for the three or four travelers. Now we also offer accessible bedrooms. So we're very limited when it comes to this kind of class. However, maybe if you're wheelchair restricted or you have mobility issues, uh, this class will always be on the first level of the train on all of the trains. And it has an accessible shower in the room with you. It has a second pull down bed just in case someone else is traveling with you. And it's wide enough to fit any kind of wheelchair. We just need to know the type of dimensions that it has. And all the meals are still included. Everything of the amenities of a sleeping class is included. And there's also an oxygen refueling station. So now you don't, if you do require oxygen, you don't have to carry on tanks on board with you as a carry on. You can just carry, uh, say, two, and then you can just refill them and recharge them uh, while you're inside this class. Now, there is very flexible dining. Dining has been switched up where there's pasta, there's cultural foods, uh, beef, lamb, uh, fruit, fruit parfaits, and much more, even salads and vegetarian options as well. And all of these will be prepared and delivered directly to your private sleeper. So you don't have to worry about going to a dining car and eating with everyone else side by side. So I'm very excited to share with you a lot of these vacation packages. On the last session we just did, I had so many questions on this specific package. So I wanna make sure I touch on those as much as possible so you can catch everything I'm about to say. And this presentation is being recorded. So if you ever wanna go back to it, you should receive a link so you can go back and forth whenever you'd like on this presentation. But this is our Grand Rail experience. This one has always been on the top of our charts and many travelers are booking this today and all last week so they can take this trip this year. Um, this is round trip out of Chicago. Remember, we could route it from any destination that you'd like. like I know that, um, I know that um, Sergio is saying that he's from Baltimore. We can route this from Baltimore if you like. And so this goes from Chicago to Seattle. Seattle, Los Angeles, Los Angeles to New Orleans, New Orleans to Washington, DC, back over to Chicago. And this whole loop, those numbers represent the amount of nights that you're gonna stay on. So the arrows are showing the nights on the Amtrak and the circles are representing the nights in hotels, which we include as well. Now, first off in Seattle, we're gonna have set up your hotel states, as well as access to a hop on hop off sightseeing tour. This tour, it takes you through the major sites within the city, and you can get off at any one of the stops you like to do your own exploring. Then you can get back on the trolley and continue where you left off with the tour guide. 
it becomes your transportation and tour guide all on one pass. And we include this in a lot of our major cities. Now, one of the ways that you can use your perks is upgrading to say the embassy suites, where it's a beautiful property. It has a, it's a suite as well as the beautiful huge windows to see the entire area while you're in Seattle. Again, this is just another way you, you can use the perks to upgrade. Now, these are the views of the Coast Starlight. Some of our travelers just came back from this uh, train and they also called it the Pacific Coast Hugger. <laughs> and when I asked them that, they said that it's because the train hugs the Pacific Coast as they continue to went, uh, go down to Los Angeles. And same thing, where you can take this class, you'll be seeing the ocean as you travel through. Now, once you arrive in Los Angeles, we're gonna have a hotel night stay for you. We include a hop on, hop off sightseeing tour in Los Angeles. So again, hitting those major sites. And there's a lot that you can see. If you've been to Los Angeles, this will cover areas that you probably have never been to before. And if you haven't been to Los Angeles, this will hit everything that you would want to see while you're in the town. Now you'll take the Sunset Limited Amtrak train over to New Orleans. And this is one of my favorite cities because we have a lot of different activities in this town. Um, not only do we have many sightseeing included, but you can use your perks to upgrade to the Hotel Monteleon. Uh, this property is a gorgeous property. Even the light fixtures itself inside the hotel are made out of gold, uh, gold-plated material. Again, it's 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 fantastic. Then this property is right in the French quarters where you would want to be based out of when you're visiting New Orleans. Now, activity options. We include a New Orleans City Pass. This gives you admission to a lot of different attractions. Uh, I'm talking about cooking classes. Uh, the Swamp and Bayou Tour, the zoo. There's also a jazz cruise and a dinner jazz cruise in, that's included in that pass and much more activities. There's even a Hurricane Katrina tour if you like to uh, do something like that. So a lot of options that are available to you in this city. Then you'll take the Crescent that goes through a lot of great uh, farmlands and just great green areas before you head over to Washington, DC. And once you arrive in Washington, we have a hotel night stay as well as a Monuments by Moonlight tour. So if you've been there, you probably did a monument tour where you hit all the different monuments, but this one's very unique where it starts when the sunset occurs and all the monuments are just lit up. So you can see all the incredible sites, the education. I actually had um, a few travelers who live in Washington DC who took this tour and they said, everyone needs to take the Monuments by Moonlight tour. They even took it again, even though they live in the town. It's just a completely different experience while you're in Washington. Now, all of that was one vacation package and that was 14 days only from $2,199. And that includes the rail, the hotels and the activities and tours all in that price. And it is a per person price in double occupancy. Now, one other little secret that maybe many travelers are unaware about is that when you take the train, there are trains that go to the national parks. And when you go to the national parks, you're in the open air. You can feel the fresh air while you're traveling. You can step out and you're already at your lodge and in all the wilderness. This is something that you can easily do when traveling uh, to the national parks by train. Now, Now, with the maximum flexibility offer, this flexibility offer is very, very important. This is allowing a lot of our travelers to book with confidence this year because we understand a common question is what's going to happen if, you know, I book a trip, but then a lockdown is extended. Or what's going to happen to my deposit? What's going to happen to my trip? And I feel the same way. I would want to know too. I, I hear some horror stories of people losing the deposits uh, on different trips, but this maximum flexibility offer protects you on that, where if you need to change a travel date after booking a reservation with us, you need to change or cancel a journey, you will not incur any kind of fees as long as we have, we have at least five days prior to your departure and that it was booked by the end of this month. So as long as you book by the end of this month, which is still another two weeks from now, you will, this will protect you for a trip that you can book as far out as 24 months in advance. So really take advantage of this because a lot of our travelers are now booking their trip where 
knock on wood, but if they have to change their schedule due to a lockdown or anything else like that, they can actually just use all the funds they put into the trip and put it to a later date or change their vacation entirely as we do specialize in worldwide. Now, another fantastic package is our Rails to the Grand Canyon package. This one's Route to Battle Los Angeles. And with this trip, it's just a very easy way to go to the Grand Canyon. Now, the Southwest Chief is a train that you would be taking leaving out of Los Angeles. And I believe I mentioned this, the Amtrak trains, you don't just ride one train and you see it all. Every train provides such a different experience where this train, you're actually gonna see that, uh, uh, you're actually see that red rock terrain, the bell-shaped mountains. Think of Sedona, Arizona. That's the kind of style that you see here. Now, when you get to Williams, Arizona, uh, this is the fun fact. There's no Amtrak train that connects to the Grand Canyon, but that's why when you work with Amtrak Vacations, we're partnered with all the different railway systems. So we connect you to the Grand Canyon Railway. The Grand Canyon Railway is owned and operated by the Grand Canyon that takes you directly to the historic village. And a great way to upgrade your perks is to use the perks to upgrade to first class on this train. Uh, upgrade to the bar class or the luxury dome class. Um, the bar class is only for adults. There's a class for children where they do a fake robbery on board the train. Uh, I hope your children aren't hearing that. <laughs> but yes, you can actually go on a class where they have a horseback riding right along the side of the train. You're getting robbed on board this train, the steam train. It just adds to the occasion that you're going to the Wild West Grand Canyon. Now, this is the historic village. This is again, Grand Canyon National Park. And you're right there where you wanna be. Uh, we have many different properties that we can recommend. Uh, this is a photo of El Tavar. It hangs off the edge of the canyon. And one important thing about this is a lot of travelers try to get space in El Tavar, but it's always sold out because of how much in demand it is. Where some people travel to this destination just to enjoy the lunch that El Tavar has to offer. Well, we have space in these highly sought out destinations because we have the, the contracts and insider access to make reservations so you can stay in this beautiful property. And this is just an example of how the room would look like. Very elegant, very modern. And of course, we still have the Maastricht Lodge as well, which is a beautiful property and it gives you more of that lodge feel if you're looking for that. Now, this is a five-day tour only starting from $799. Now, another fantastic tour is our wine country tour. So this one starts in Los Angeles for a one night stay and you'll head over to Paso Robles for two nights. You'll go to San Francisco for three nights and then you'll stay two nights in Napa Valley. Now, a unique, interesting thing about this trip, if you haven't noticed the difference between this one and the other trips, is that you do not sleep on board the train on this journey. So there are some areas where you don't need to sleep on board the train. So if you're the kind of person who wants train travel, but you want to sleep in hotels, this is the package for you. And we have many others that are very similar. And if you want to sleep overnight on the train, well, then we have other alternatives that go on much longer distance rails, but there's always something for everyone. Now you're going to be in, in Los Angeles where we still include that hop on hop off tour, beautiful sights to see. And then we'll have, we'll have you stay at Paso Robles. Now Paso Robles, again, beautiful town, a lot of farm area. And uh, it's kind of starts getting away from that big city feel. So you can just start being a little more nature in the wine country. We'll take you over to San Francisco. You can go see the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, do the different attractions, go to Pier 39 and enjoy some clam chowder. I personally love doing that every time I visit San Francisco. And then we'll take you to the Napa Valley area so you can then go on the wine train. This Napa Valley wine train is a Pullman train. If uh, you already know about wine country, then you already know about this train. This beautiful Pullman train, uh, very nice, very elegant, a little bit of an older model train. And there's wine tastings, different activities that you can do, uh, different tastings across the board while you're going through the different area. And it's only nine days from $1,899, including the gourmet lunch on board the Napa Valley train, as well as the Hills Winery Tour.
Now, this one's one of my personal favorites. It's our Northern Rail Experience. And again, no matter what we do, these packages, a lot of our travelers are traveling this year on them. And we don't even need to put up any kind of special flyers. Our travelers just love taking these journeys. And if you're still trying to figure out why, then I'm sure you'll find it through this package. This vacation trip is not exciting just because you're going to Seattle and San Francisco, but it's exciting because it includes the three most scenic trains Amtrak has to offer. First off, going from Chicago to Seattle, you're gonna take the Empire Builder. Now the Empire Builder, it has a very unique story where it was very difficult to build these tracks. Remember, we're not talking about just taking a car rental or a, a tour bus that's gonna take you from point A to point B, or we're not even talking about taking a flight from Chicago to Seattle. Because you know, when I take flights, when I go in the sky, all the clouds look the same. When I'm going on a tour bus or a shuttle, I'm on a paved road with the other cars. Yeah, everything looks beautiful from the street, but it's not even comparable when you're taking tracks that are actually going through the mountains. They're carving through the terrain. They're going through tunnels, bridges, viaducts. You're right in the mountains itself, and there's raging waters flowing right alongside the train. Not only that, but this area is so scenic that you're going right through the Cascades as you get over to Seattle. And you're going to be right there in front of all the action. So after you have that glorious experience on board the train, you're then going to arrive into Seattle. And in Seattle, we include many different activities like the Space Needle admission, as well as the Chihulu Garden and Glass exhibit. Uh, it's a glass exhibit where it's hand-blown glass, but it looks like a garden of flowers. You'll then continue over to the Coast Starlight, which this is the lounge car that you're seeing. So a question I get asked is, do you have to be on coach, roomette, or bedroom to enjoy the Coast Starlight? And I'm excited to say that you can be on any one of the classes. You all have access to be able to be in the lounge car where they have chairs that face out the, win face out the window. So you can see all the beautiful scenery no matter which side of the train your seats are on. Now it's San Francisco, again, beautiful town. This time we're gonna include the sightseeing tour of Muir Woods and Sausalito. So you can enjoy the different area. We even included a San Francisco Bay cruise coming out of San Francisco. And now from there going back over to Chicago, Uh, from here going over to uh, Chicago, you're then going to take the California Zephyr. This one is the number one most scenic train. You're going to be climbing right through the heart of the Rockies. And of course, during the wintertime, you're going through the snow-capped Sierra Nevadas. Uh, not only that, but you're going to be able to see a lot of different uh, lake towns. You're going to go by the, uh, the Truckee River, the uh, Colorado's Gore, the, um, the Glenwood Canyons, Sierra Nevada's uh, the Rocky Mountain terrain, all of the different sites that you can think of, this train is crossing over through. And uh, we have a lot of travelers who just ask if they could take the train from San Francisco to Chicago just to take this train. This is just the third train you're taking on this one vacation trip. It's 10 days and it's only starting from $1,399. The Northern Rail Experience. And we can also route it into different directions, where if you want to start in Seattle, if you want to start in San Francisco, if you want to start in Los Angeles, let us know and we can route it from there. Now, just to go on this very briefly, uh, we also offer getaways as well. Getaways, think of it like vanilla ice cream. Uh, it's good, it's tasty, but then you want to customize it a little bit. Well, this is just that. It's Glenwood Springs getaway, it's going to include two hotel nights as well as admission to the Iron Mountain Hot Springs and even the trade and cave, the tram and cave tour admission. And it's three days from only $219. So that's the vanilla. All you need is to let us know where you would like the rail to pick you up and drop you off, and we'll add it to this price. Same thing with our Glacier National Park getaway. Glacier National Park is right in Montana. It's a beautiful national park. And the amazing thing is this top left photo shows that the train arrives at that station. And when you turn the camera around, which is the photo in the bottom left, that's how far it is from your lodge, Glacier Park Lodge. Uh, we also include the big sky circle tour in the top right that goes to Lake McDonald and a few other sites, as well as a cruise to the Two Medicine Valley Lake, 
They'll pick you up at Glacier National Park Lodge, take you to Two Medicine Valley Lake. You're on the lake for about an hour, two hours. Then we'll bring you back to your lodge. And we even included dinner on that day at the uh, lodge itself. So a lot of fun activities. And this is four days from only $1,059. Now we do have everyday discounts as well. So for children ages two to 12, they will receive a 50% discount on the rail portion of the vacation. Seniors ages 65 years of age or older will receive a 10% discount on the rail portion of the trip. And then military personnel, active duty, um, your dependents and your spouse will receive a 10% discount on the rail portion of the trip. Now, what I do wanna say, if there is anyone on this call who served, whether it be one year or it be 50 years, if you can actually put in the question box exactly the branch that you served in and the amount of years that you served, I would greatly appreciate that. I wanna thank you for your service. Um, after this presentation, I would love to go back to all the questions and be able to read all the travelers on this call who were able to serve. And just thank you again for giving us the opportunity to be able to plan vacations like this and we're also excited to be able to have you take the vacation for yourself as well. But if you can do that, that would be great. I would love to look over that later. And as you all do that, just uh, be aware. Don't forget to pick your perks. I know we talked a lot of, about a, a lot of different things, but we can still upgrade your trips much more than what we shared with you today. Uh, all you have to do is speak to our team members, and then we can give you many different options where you can apply these perks that we want to help you upgrade. And then upcoming webinars. So we do have other webinars that are gonna talk about different topics, right? Today was just more of a general topic in a way, but we'll be more focused on national parks uh, when it comes to the 23rd. And then on the 30th, we'll talk a lot more about bucket list experiences that our travelers have wanted to take that they were able to knock off their bucket list. And we'll talk about what that looks like by rail as well. So right now, if you have any questions, now is the time to put them in the question box and I'll be more than happy to provide an answer. And if you do not have a question, I know you can't see the top right there, but if you don't have a question, then answer this for me. Which destinations did you have in mind where you want to travel to? And when are you looking at traveling? Maybe it's, maybe you want to travel somewhere in Alaska. Maybe you want to travel to Europe or Canada, wherever it may be, it doesn't have to be the US. Feel free to put that in the question box and again, when are you looking at traveling? And for everyone else who has questions, now is the time to put them in. So Betty, fantastic question here. I see you're saying, what vacation route do you guys offer those living in Florida? Well, fantastic question. And all of our vacations can be routed out of Florida. Um, the only thing is we just have to add the train um, from whatever station closest to you. And we'll take you to the vacation trip. And in total, that is your whole vacation. So it can be any destination. So yes, all of our trips can be routed from Florida. Um, okay, great question here. So Nadine, I see you're saying, is the dining car not open due to COVID? Fantastic question. So the dining car is not open. However, the meals are still available. The only thing is that they just close the actual car you sit at and now you just enjoy the meals in your private space. Okay, and uh, Irene, great question here. So what are the most popular trips during COVID? That's a fantastic question. And, you know, when it comes to that, with what we see a lot of our travelers doing today, they're going to Alaska, U.S. National Parks, Glenwood Springs to Denver, Colorado, and New Orleans. Those are the exact trips that they're we're just getting so many, oh, and Glacier National Park as well. Um, so a lot of those trips are what we're seeing happen uh, on a daily basis. I had about five Glacier Na National Park calls earlier uh, yesterday, and I had a lot of national parks today, and I had a few Grand Rail experiences today as well. And so all of our travelers are able to take those trips now. And yes, Alaska by rail is a huge topic uh, for a lot of our travelers.
Okay, Ruth, uh, you're saying, is Canada open to US tourists? Yes, so great question. Right now it is paused. The border is currently not allowing um, us to be able to travel into Canada. We see that opening later this year, but to be on the safe side, we have been recommending reservations be planned for late this year, but more preferably the beginning of 2022. Uh, Donna, great question. So can I do Glacier a Glacier Getaway in, la, in the last week of September? You can. The um, only thing is that sometimes it can be limited to the tours that might be available, as well as the availability of the space. Uh, Glacier National Park, we've had many reservations happen for it, but just recently we switched from three days a week of the Amtrak traveling to now once a day, back to how it usually was before COVID. So if you're looking at Glacier National Park, you need to call in ASAP um, to be able to grab any kind of space that we just had open up. Think of it like there's no more space, it's sold out for the year, but now we just had a whole bunch of space open up just a few days ago. So now it's whoever can grab a space, it's gonna, it's gonna be able to grab it this year. If they don't grab it this year, then they're gonna have to look at next year. So I would recommend calling in on the number you see on the screen so we can get that taken care of. Uh, David, great question. So cost per night for the bedroom. Um, it's very difficult to come up with a cost per night. That's almost like saying how much is the cost for tickets from here to New York um, and it, it just depends on what date you're looking at traveling so the more availability the less it is and I've seen it go for just a mere few hundred dollars um, even two hundred and fifty dollars on some very short routes but um, but if there's no availability uh, there's just a few rooms left I've seen that number go much much higher so that's where when you speak to our team members they have to price out the specific date and route that you're looking at as prices can vary depending on the direction you're going as well. Okay, so uh, Jen, I see you're asking when COVID restrictions are over, uh, what type of experiences are available on board outside of your sleeper car for California Zephyr. Um, well, right now, all of our US travel is completely available. Um, US travel, domestic travel, um, that is all open for everyone. So once the restrictions are lifted, the only thing I'm seeing change is the dining car will be now in service. And instead of 50% capacity on the train, it will be back at 100%. But the stops hotels activities are still the same if not they're actually better right now because i don't know if anyone has been in a hotel recently but i again i just came back from san francisco yosemite and everyone's very excited very happy to be able to see more and more travelers so i actually had a fantastic time um so when all the restrictions are lifted i think that's still going to bring the exciting times as it is right now Okay, so I see here, is there any extra charges to customize a trip? So fantastic question. There are not extra charges. Uh, the only difference is that we can quote a package that we offer in a matter of a few minutes. So if we create it as a customization, it may take five to 10 extra minutes to do so, but it does not cost more. It's just a total package price. Whatever's included, a total price comes out. Uh, Charles is saying, when uh, when will we more train days be added? They just were added a few days ago. So now we can book every day of the week um, on majority of all the trains. But when you speak to our team members, they can verify all the specific routes for you. Patricia, fantastic question. Do you have monthly payments for trips that's scheduled for next year? So I guess this kind of leads into deposit. So when it comes to our deposits, all we require is if it's within 60 days of departure, we need the full payment. If it's outside of 60 days, 
then all we need is a simple deposit of $250 per passenger and you are booked for your vacation trip. And we do not require the final payment until six days prior to departure. So we don't require monthly payments. You can pay monthly if you want. You can pay whenever you'd like. Um, the only thing is once we hit 60 days before your departure, we would require the final payment. So if you're booking a trip for next year, we just need deposit and you can call in every month, pay $100, $1,000, you know, $50, and it will slowly take off your total vacation trip until that 60 day mark. These are fantastic questions, by the way. Okay, so Colleen, great question here. So I see you're saying that you're interested in the Grand Rail experience between spring and fall. Any suggestions? Um, and of course, talking about the price. So the price that you saw that was $21.99, that is including the coach class. So we can talk about roomettes and bedrooms and we can quote that for you. Uh, the best thing that I can say is as just give a call to our team. And if you're flexible on your dates, they can see which date is the most cost efficient to go on. So you can take the same trip just at a better, you know, lower price. And we would recommend that date for you for us to start reserving. And we can give you a quote on what the bedroom will look like as well. So that's what I would recommend to uh, call in. So if you're very flexible from spring and fall, we can find the best date for you. Um, that would be the best rate. Okay, Jennifer, fantastic question. Can you get meals in coach seating? Um, you can get snacks. You wouldn't be able to get the same meals that the dining car passengers have because that is primarily only for sleeping accommodation passengers. Um, if you are in coach class, you have access to a snack car, which are cold foods and sandwiches, um, chips, uh, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages uh, that you can order, but uh, it, they are not the same as the sleep meal, meal cars. Uh, and what size can you carry on? Uh, what, what's the size of the carry-on can be? Um, the carry-on, it has to weigh 25 pounds or less each. So your backpack, 25 pounds or less, and your duffel, 25 pounds or less. And then suitcases have to weigh less than 50 pounds. And again, you can carry two carry-ons and two check bags when traveling. Okay, so uh, Nadine, I see you're saying, will you ever connect rail to, to Texas? We do have rail through Texas, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, San Antonio, uh, Dallas, uh, all of that. We have rail connecting through there. The only thing that I think some travelers uh, refer to is Florida to New Orleans. Um, that rail, there used to be a Amtrak train going through there, but when Hurricane Katrina occurred, that those tracks were wiped out. So there's no connection going from Florida that can any city in Florida that can connect to New Orleans. You just have to kind of do a loop around. But um, as for Texas, though, we have trains that connect through Texas. Uh, Denise, fantastic question. I see you're interested in our Napa Valley tour. And is this tripping your tour book? Uh, also a, a brochure. Um, we, I'm unsure if it's in the specific booklet. The booklet, the brochure, only covers about 5% of what we offer. And since we can customize, we that can go much, much more. So if it's not there, it would be on our website. And if you can't find it, then just give us a call and we'll create it. Okay, so Terry, a great question. I see your your sister lives in Wisconsin. She always wanted to take a train ride that she can eat and sleep on. Suggestions? Yeah, taking the trip from Wisconsin, uh, you can head over to Glacier National Park, Seattle, and a beautiful route, again, going through those Cascades. You'll stay for one or two nights on board the train, and uh, you can have a roommate or a bedroom, and that's going to be a fantastic journey, especially for our first journey.
Okay, uh, I see David, you're saying this is a general question. Is it possible to get hot water for food uh, for you to bring yourself? Yes, you can. So you can take any kind of food you like, snacks. You could even bring alcohol, al alcoholic beverages with you as well, if you'd like. And um, they do serve coffee, tea, and different sorts like that. So you can easily just ask for a cup of hot water and they could accommodate you for that. Uh, Brenda, I see you're saying in the national parks, Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon, could a hop on, hop off on in um, SLC be added to uh, Salt Lake City, be added to visit friends and hop back on the following week? So great question. So uh, hop on, hop off pass has a specific route to see a lot of scenic areas in a city, like a tourist attraction. Um, if you want just a spot a kind of a break to stay in salt lake city we can do that in between a vacation where you're in salt lake city um we can leave a gap for how long you like and you can do your own accommodations or you can do your own tours and activities and then we can continue the tour where we left off based on the date that we discuss so yes you can absolutely do that and then jen during covid can we move around outside of our assigned car Yes, you can. Uh, that's the best part about a train. You're not confined to your seat like a bus or a plane. You could roam around as much as you like to the dome car, lounge car, the snack car, even back to your seats. You can roam around as much as you like. And K is the only Alaska trip, the one combined with the ship travel. Uh, no, it's not. I'm glad you mentioned that. We used to offer uh, a cruise package with a tour, but now we actually offer rail in Alaska. What you can do is, although the thing is you would have to arrange your airfare to say Anchorage or Seaward or any other destination, and uh, we would take care of the rest. Where we take care of the rail, the Denali railway system, we can go to Denali National Park, we can take you over to Fairbanks and a few other beautiful locations uh, by rail. And, uh, and you can arrange a flight or even work with a travel agent to arrange that flight for you. And uh, Barbara, I see you're saying where in Alaska would, would we be able to travel? Um, I just riddle off a few places, but uh, as for Kodiak, um, we don't have any hotels in Kodiak, but if the Denali railway system goes there, we can take you there. But uh, we go as far as Fairbanks, where you can see the Northern Lights, uh, Denali National Park, Seaward, Anchorage, um, to do some tours on the water. So yes, we there's major areas that we can take you to. Okay, perfect. Well, I want to thank everyone again for joining us on this presentation. I know that there may be a few questions I missed, but when there's an over when there's over a few hundred travelers on, it sometimes the questions can be mixed up in between other ones. But uh, what I want to say is that if there's any questions maybe I was unable to answer, just give our team a call. I'm sure you'll be very impressed on the service that you're able to receive when speaking to our team members. Our number is here, 800 268 7252. And when it comes to all the vacation trips, I know that there's different prices and different ranges. When you speak to our team members, if you tell them the date, they will have the exact price for you. And uh, and then we can assist you with the reservation. Again, the Max and Flexibility offer will allow you to really feel secure when you're making your vacation with us. So I hope you have a great day. And this is Paul Stowe with Amtrak Vacations. Everyone stay safe and we'll see you soon.